about to take delivery of a 2015 Kia Optimum All Black. Driving to the lot right now. The transporter just dropped off the car. We're gonna go check it out. I'm hoping this thing is in good shape. Again, they dropped it off in the driveway. They always do this to me because my gates are closed. I'm not a full-time dealer. They never call me before they come. Just pulling up to the Kia. Let's see how she looks. All right, see we're missing something over here. Little clip. Looks good, looks good. Not bad. All right, let's get in. All right. She's messy. So apparently this window doesn't work. I already knew that before the purchase. Is that an apple in there? I don't know what's going on over here. It's just, it's just disgusting. First start. We got 141,000 on the dash, maybe 142,000. AC is blowing. Feels cold. I like that. First test drive on the Kia. Feels pretty sound. I'm hitting the gas right now. The shocks and everything feel really good. Transmission feels good. It looks like a lot of cosmetic. Cosmetic is what I like. So we just got the Kia Optimum home. I just drove it. It drives really, really good. Took it up on a highway, went up to 75. Thing is riding nice, almost 80. I don't see anything really wrong with the struts, the shocks, everything feels good on it, but it's extremely dirty and there's a couple things wrong with it. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So let's start off at the front of the car. It's missing a molding piece right here. We got a couple scrapes right there on the bottom. Um, I can also tell that this side of the car was painted because you can see gas door cover was changed. You can see it's a flat black. So something must have happened right here. This whole side was painted. Um, there was also a piece of tape right here that I ripped off. Um, so they definitely painted this, but you can see they did a pretty bad paint job. Um, I've also seen some drips in the paint. Like right here, there's some drips. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's also some more drips somewhere over here. You can see that they tried to spray paint this for some reason. You can see that they left some spray paint over here. Spray paint at the top of the mirror. You can see that they also spray painted over here. Um, I don't know what that was about. Got some uh, overspray over here. So let's look inside. Now looking inside, you can see this thing is extremely dirty. Definitely gonna need a detail. Or whoever had it really didn't care about it. There's a mess all over. You got an apple, an old apple in here, a wheel cover, a bunch of junk. Let's see the back seat. You can see there's junk all down here, like grapes. Whoever it was, they like fruit. I can tell you that, they were healthy. You got a bunch of stuff here. Let's see the back seat. You can see there's some more fruit over here, a bunch of garbage. Now look at this window. You can see the window is wedged up with pieces of cardboard. So obviously there's something wrong here. The motor um, is off track. Something's wrong uh, with this. We could pop the trunk. Now you can see we're missing a molding right here. And then now we got in the back, we got an old license plate, a rag, and this is a window motor right here. So this could be a possible culprit on that window. Maybe the window motor is uh, bad. Uh, they did say that on the ad. We got a piece. Oh, here goes that side window mirror uh, molding. Right under the hood looks pretty clean. Not gonna lie, it looks like it has a fresh battery. Um, it's not bad at all. It looks like a good car, sounds good, feels good. Okay, we just got delivery of the new track for the Kia Optimum window. I mean, you can see the difference between the old one and the new one. You can see this one, the wires were all crumbled up. You can see where the motor goes was broken. So I don't know, somebody must have opened it up and tried to fix it and just left it like that and kind of slapped it back together. Now look at the new one, big difference here. Um, the part where the motor goes is nice and clean. You got your wires there. Okay, let's see, we got the window on. Let's see if this thing goes up and down. I'm excited, I wanna see if this thing goes up. We got it. Okay, all the parts came in. So we got our new window switch so we can put the windows up and down on each side, cause that one wasn't working. We also got the clamps that clamp into the door cause they were all broken. Uh, of course, our window is in, our motor, you guys saw that. And I'm just waiting for the plastic for this cover right here to basically fill in the door so this won't look like that. All right, guys, here's the deal with this car. We already finished the door, as you guys saw. 
the door is finished the window goes up and down i'm extremely happy about that if this project is done right this will be one of my most profitable cars because i got it for a good deal and there's nothing mechanically wrong with it but if you go online these sell for 72 to 7300 interior is extremely dirty we got to do that right as well and there's also a hole in the seat in which i found out i could repair that so we're going to figure out how to repair that it's gonna be my first time repairing a cigarette burning the seat but i think we could pull it off we're really gonna make some money off this car Alright guys, so my wife says it's this one. I think it's this one, but I'm gonna listen to her. We're gonna go with this one. <laughs> <laughs> and let's hope this thing matches. We're trying to fill in this hole over here. So how did you figure out what how do we how do we make that color? How did you figure out? Because I feel slow, like I don't know what I'm doing. Well, this is your main color right here. Oh, okay. And it's your secondary color. So you're gonna start with this as your base. So we're gonna put as much Make That's a little bit more of these, and then we're just gonna start adding white to get the color that we uh, actually want in the chart which I'm saying is this one. Got it. Makes sense. Okay guys, I think it came out really good. You can't really tell the difference in person at all. It just looks like it's a little roughened up in this area. Uh, I think that this kit was really good. It did a really good job. I wanna say my wife did a great job matching the color of the seat. You cannot tell the difference. To be honest with you, they say men are colorblind and I don't think I would have been able to match this at all. All right gang, so the whole car is detailed inside. Now we gotta work on the outside. We're gonna do a little bit of detailing. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wet sand this whole side of the car because of course, like I told you guys earlier, the paint job that they did on this wasn't that good and I just want everything to shine. So we're pretty much gonna do an outside detail on the car and we're gonna wet sand this side of the car with 2000 to 3000 grit and then we're gonna go ahead and buff the car so that it shines.
All right, so this is a good sign. You can see we have a milky texture. What this means is that they use two stages. They use the base coat and they use a clear coat. You could do it with a single stage too. A single stage means that there's a base coat and clear coat all together. But what they did here is good because now we can buff it. We can take down that clear coat. So what you see, that milky uh, consistency that you see is basically the clear coat. We don't want to take it down too much, but we want to flatten everything out and then we can go ahead and buff it out. Here's what you want to see. You want to see the paint nice and flat like that. That's exactly what you want to see. You don't want to see the paint starting to get like these little ripples in it. You don't want that. That's basically the orange peel. You want to flatten it out all the way before you buff it. And you can see it's nice and flat. We still have some of the uh, drip over here. You can finally see the drip right there. And there should be some more right here. But we got to continue to sand those drip down, but you can see how it's nice and flat. You don't want that orange peel. Okay guys, here's the deal with the mirror. As you can see, the paint had a reaction and this has happened to me twice. Now a friend of mine came over to paint his bumpers and what I did was I used the last of his paint so I didn't have to buy paint because the paint for this would probably cost about $48 just to paint it. So he has some black paint. We painted some bumpers for a Civic so I figured he had a little bit of paint left and I did this twice. As you can see on the video, I stopped because I had a reaction. So when you're painting plastic, you have to put down, you have to put some type of uh, adhesive so that the paint can stick to it because it's plastic so if you're painting like a bumper you need that adhesive so i kind of messed up the paint already and it's pretty frustrating as you can see these things happen for me to go buy paint it's probably gonna be like 48 dollars if i try to buy the one in the can it's probably gonna be like 38 dollars to buy the right paint coat so what i did was i went ahead on ebay and i ordered a new uh mirror because i don't have time to keep trying to fix this and if i try to buy the adhesive that goes so that the paint could go in there correctly what's gonna happen is i gotta go through all of that plus paint it plus buy the paint that's gonna be like 50 55 dollars makes no sense i went ahead and ordered a new mirror for $61 off eBay. So I bought a new one and pretty much we're just gonna throw that on top of the car. So let's go over the numbers and how much money we made off of this car. So right now what I'm doing here is basically putting on the door moldings uh, cause the other ones were messed up like you guys saw in the video. I'm also gonna put on the bumper molding. So what I paid for the car all in with shipping and fees was $3,790. For the door pillars that you see me putting on the car right now, I pretty much paid $14. The bumper molding that you're gonna see me put on the car, I paid $25. The window switch that didn't work was $60. The window regulator was $70. The door handle was $25. The car mats that you don't see in here was $19. The mirror, the new mirror I had to buy was $67, bringing us to a total of $4,070. And then I have a friend of mine that was willing to wait for the mirror he said he'll take it the way it is and he bought it for six thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars leaving us with a profit of two thousand seven hundred and eighty bucks if you guys like this video like comment and subscribe we definitely have more videos coming i enjoy all the people who've been commenting i will talk to you soon